Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be um, making the lit map for this building right here. And uh, by the way, if you're not familiar with what a lit map is, it is essentially the nighttime um, map for your buildings. So whatever lights you have, um, it's going to display them at night. It's going to keep the emissive information. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that so that your buildings have um, baked lighting at night and you'll be able to fly into your airport at night and see lights on your buildings. So let's go ahead and uh, the first thing we're actually go going to go ahead and head over to render view, which is Z to bring up this pie menu and then uh, just drag up to go to rendered view. Or you could also alternatively click on this uh, viewport shading rendered um, circle thing here and you should be able to uh, preview your building in render view um, i'm currently sitting in the cycles render engine but it's pretty performance heavy so if your computer can't handle this just switch it down back to eevee and that should work to place the lights so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press shift a oops shift a light spot and uh, the spotlight is the one i typically use use for my buildings since it's omnidirectional and I can kind of adjust the the angle and the fall off and stuff like that so I moved it out with G Y that's how I moved it out I'm gonna press on this negative S up here on the gizmo and that should give me the 2d view of this building I'm just gonna kind of press G Y to get it closer G Z to move it up G Y to move it a little bit closer and let's see how that looks like okay Press on this negative Y right here to go to the front view and uh, just press G S to move it along the X axis. Maybe you could even move it up, up a little bit higher. G Y to move it out. Let's see, move it back down. All right. So as you can see, this fall off is pretty steep, um, which I don't really like. So let's go ahead and press the light. Go to your light properties tab right here which is this green light bulb and uh, just change the power to 150 and the size to 160 that's how I kind of get this effect and the fall off is not too steep but it could obviously be better so I just change the blend a bit and uh, that usually does the job for me so once you're done with that light all you have to do is just press shift D that's to move it out and just press G let's move it inward a little bit well not inward but sideways to kind of get it to match this one and uh, there's two more so let's go ahead and duplicate it move it on the outside so you don't have to worry about rotating it since it's omnidirectional And then press on this X right here. Press G Y. There we go. Okay. To the right a little bit more. That should work. Shift D Y. And there it is. Just go ahead and align it and you should be all set. So that should work. Um, you're pretty much done pl placing all of your lights now um, but there is one more problem we need to take care of and that problem is uh, the fact that the world intensity is way too bright so like in the simulator if you were to bake this and export it and apply it to the to the building um, this building is gonna seem like emissive it's gonna be like where where's all this light coming from like why why is there light coming out of the building or something it's gonna be weird. So all you have to do to fix that is head on over to world properties and just go to color. And we just have to change the value to 0 0.003. And uh, that's gonna be basically how it's gonna look in the simulator. Like not a bunch of parts of this building are gonna be lit up for absolutely no reason. And um, just the parts that are illuminated will be illuminated, you know? That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, we should go back to solid view now since we're gonna be baking 
and uh, solid view typically is better for performance. So the way I did that was I just press the and then move it, move my mouse to the right. Or you could also alternatively press on this uh, solid circle to go back to solid view. Go to your shading tab. Um, so on this hanger, I have a bunch of materials. If you do also happen to have a bunch of materials, just uh, get rid of all of them. Given that we already have an image texture, just press new, call this North Hanger or whatever the name of your hanger is. This is the name of my hanger object. Um, so that's why I named it North Hanger. Shift A while hovering over the shader editor. Texture, image texture. Make sure you click on open and select North Hanger. Just drag the color into the base color. It's going to be all messed up because we have two different UV maps. We just need to reference the right one. Input. So shift A, input UV map. And select the UV map that is not rendering, which is the one we used to bake on the previous video. Just hook up your UV to the vector input and that should fix the problem. Anyway, what we have to do now is press shift A, texture, image texture, press new, and change the name to North Hanger underscore lit. Um, and it's underscore lit because it is a nighttime map and all nighttime maps are named with this uh, convention. Just change the width and the height to be 4K. So I just click on the on the field and drag down 4096. 4K since that's the resolution North Hanger PNG had. Um, you could alternatively uh, do 2K or 1K. It's up to you. It's just an FYI. It doesn't have to be the same resolution. Anyway, make sure you switch your render engine to cycles. Uh, make sure you switch to solid view <laughs> up here so that your computer doesn't try to die while it's baking this texture. Uh, make sure you don't have any other materials. Um, that have an image texture selected and make sure that you click on just anywhere on the shader editor and then click on this North Hanger lit node to make it active. So it's active because it has like a white outline around it. And then go to cycles, just head on over to the bake tab, change the bake type to diffuse and just make sure all of these uh, influence boxes are checked direct and indirect referring to the lighting and color referring to the diffuse, so like the color on this hanger. Um, and make sure you change the margin to four pixels since we don't want it to bleed. And uh, I think we should be all set. So go ahead and select your object. That's really important. Um, and make sure that this North Hanger lit image texture node is selected. You'll know that it's selected because it has the outline around it as I mentioned earlier. And uh, just hit bake. And just wait for that to finish baking. So once the image texture has finished baking, you'll see it over here on the preview. You'll just have to head on over to your UV editing tab and make sure that North Hanger lit is selected from this drop down and uh, just select image, save as, and save the image wherever you want. Go back to layout. Um, and now we can pretty much, if you want, you could get rid of the lights, but just in case I'm gonna back them up. So I'm gonna press M here new collection lights and uh, I'm going to disable it all right so now just make sure that uh, you head on over to your scene properties tab select your collection where the object is in this case it's this collection called collection just make sure it's the root collection don't select the lights as the root collection since we're not exporting them change the type of the object to scenery object, change the name to North Hanger or whatever the name of your hanger is. That's the one I'm using. Uh, select default, your regular default image texture that we worked on in the previous tutorial, the lit map for the nighttime, and you should be all set. Just click on export. And if we go back to the tutorial building textures folder where I have all my textures, you can see my new object has been exported. So that should be all for this tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or are having issues, 
please do get, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to check out some cool scenery. Our website is flightsimdesigns.com. It's going to be linked in the description. Uh, we have made several sceneries for Let's Play 11 and 12. So if you are interested, it would be great if you could check it out. I really hope you all enjoy making scenery and have a great day.